that's something you should never do, Nazare. You know, you, you decide for something and you go for your plan. Johannes, nice that you're here. We had two really intense action days last week and it wasn't really surfing. It was jet ski annihilation, I would call it. One was this, which was super intense. Then a couple of days later, there were bigger waves. First of all, there was nobody out there. And then there was one team with only one ski and they got into serious trouble. I met the guy, I met Freddy. He's the driver of the ski. We talked about the whole incident. Okay, let's do it. I'm Freddy Orlander. I'm from Berlin. I grew up in Berlin and I'm a professional big wave surfer, what you don't hear too much around in the world, I would say, a guy from the city. And, um, but yeah, I traveled and lived around the world and that's my story, um, how I became a big wave surfer and now living in Nazareth. That was impressive, 22 seconds. <laughs> no, really? <laughs> Scheiße. <laughs> I would say let's talk about why we are here. Yeah. It was super intense. The whole day was like not planned at all like that. So first <clears throat> I met the guy Peter and I wanted to make a surf session with him. He had a little film project and he wanted to train on his um, aerials. And I told him already we had not really good conditions for that and no one was really in the water. But I said to him, okay, we can give it a check and look around if we can do something or not. Yeah, and then we drove out. If you like this, I would really appreciate it if you click the subscribe button, it really helps me. I really appreciate the engagement. By driving out, uh, I was see really seeing that there's really no one in the water and the conditions like um, were really, really not good. Like it was super bumpy, the period was super short, that means just that the waves were super close to each other and there was much more size than expected actually. During this process I was driving around and I was talking kind of with a spotter on the beach and um, with Peter, but he was really like into it and really wanted to surf or try the ways. And I said, actually, we should <laughs> go back. It makes no sense. I was keen to give him, give him some ways and make things happen. So um, I said, okay, let's get ready. We watched a bit. So we said we make no tricks or anything. So he should just take the first ways and make it make a safe surf. So we see how it goes and see the situation. And yeah, so um, after I was driving around, uh, I checked for the first set and I saw one nice set coming. I was thinking, okay, this wave just popped up so nicely. So I said, ah, let's go for this wave, you know, like, and um, I start driving for the wave. What we said actually just before, you know, when we um, were driving around that we don't take the first wave, you know, like we wait for the set and see what's happening and maybe take the second, third wave, you know, but um, everything went actually good at that point and I saw um, him surfing and then I drove behind the wave like you usually do and um, at one point I saw there's just a second wave just behind it and 
it was like double or triple size like the first one. It was pretty shocking, it was, was super close to it. And then I was like starting to think, oh my God, what I'm doing, should I rescue him when he's coming out of the wave or should I just drive out? And I was starting to hesitating and um, that's something you should never do in Nazare. You know, you, you decide for something and you go for your plan and I was like, between all the time, shit, 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 this is super close, not too much time, can be very dangerous. So and the wave came closer and closer and I drove my line actually to drive out and to get myself safe. But in the last moment, I decided like, fuck no, I tried to, to rescue him and that he don't get the whole set all on the head. So what I did like in this very quick moment, realized what really happened like I, I made a very quick turn because I saw Peter coming out of the wave and um, saw okay he's a bit from, um, on the right from my side and I was thinking okay so I have to be super quick when I want to rescue him now and I made a quick turn out of my safe line yeah just uh, the jet ski bumped over the um, little bumps everywhere and I just fall off the ski uh, and then I realized, fuck, <laughs> this should not happen at all. So um, yeah, that situation um, was really bad. So, and the wave was just growing up in front of me and I was like, fuck, I want to um, get the jet ski and maybe I can get it somehow out of the impact zone. So I tried to get on the jet ski. I jumped on the jet ski and and then I saw already the wave breaking into my face and I was like, fuck, and I just wanted to grab the gas and try to drive out. But in that moment, the white water just... It was so heavy, like I was so scared because in that moment I was thinking, there's so many things going on in your head and you can't make the right decisions anymore because it's just kind of panic mode, you know, like, and, in that moment, you're just thinking, fuck, I hope I don't get underwater the jet ski on my body or my head or something. And, um, but I was feeling by the hit that, it, that I went very deep into the water. And so I think what happened is like I fall in under the jet ski and the jet ski just popped, popped up and I was very deep in the water. I didn't inflate it because I wanted to get deep. And then I came up and then my ne next thought was, oh my God, um, what can happen to Peter, you know, because he was kind of in the front of us and I was super scared that the jet ski hit him, you know, so uh, I came up, was looking for him and then he popped up and we, he was fine and he gave me the, the sign that he is okay and I was okay and then in the next wave already came and I was just thinking, okay, now I want to get the jet ski so I um, get the hit from the next wave and then I um, inflated my west and with the inflated west I wanted to get very fast to the beach to see what's happening but it was not possible to get that fast to the beach because of course there was many ways um, hitting us and it was a long way to the beach and we got a couple of wipes and um, yeah whitewash and um, at one point we get exhausted and completely destroyed um, to the beach yeah, and the jet ski was already on um, beach so um, yeah and then 
we checked on us if everything is fine, our body, if um, Peter is fine, if I'm fine. And then we had a look on the jet ski. Yeah. Do you think, regarding the driving, that you could have done something differently that could have avoided the, you falling off yeah. the ski? Yeah, yeah, yeah. totally. Um, I made the stupid mistake that I went for the rescue. I wanted to rescue him and I shouldn't do it at all, you know, like, because it was, it was not small, it was a medium-sized uh, Nazare, but still, you know, the surfer can handle the beatings, you know, and sometimes when you have this tight periods, you, let, you just let the surfer get the beating, you know, like, because it's, it, it's a very, very little chance that I get him right in time and can take him and, and rescue him, you know, and usually I just, with my line that I had before, just drive out, you know, find a channel, super safe, you know, <laughs> and then just, he gets the two, three waves on the head, then I come, pick him up, and we drive out. That, that would be the procedure, usually, you know. But, you know, it's an, it's an extreme sport, a lot is happening, sometimes, you know, your mind is clicking not right in, right in that moment, you know, like it's, um, too much stuff going on and then you make a wrong decision and that's what, what happened you know I made just the wrong decision and um, then the shit happened you know and but to be honest everything in the end went super fine because it could went totally different out you know someone get get really hurt the jet ski could be completely broken and stuff like that so in the end when I checked everything was kind of fine we are fine I was super happy and to be honest like situations like that that they are super important too, you know, because you have to learn things like that. And this session and this happening, what happened, led to me a big scar, you know. And this scar is like very intense, so it will really remind you all the time now in the next sessions what to do exactly in situations like that. And you need this. This is, uh, this is the experience you need to progress here, you know, like, and... It's not nice to progress that way, but that's when you want to play here, that's the way. You know? Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned. There will be a ton of footage coming up. I've been in Nazare now for seven months, shooting kind of straight through the whole time uh, with a couple of exceptions where we went abroad and also non-surf related stuff. So there is a lot of cool stuff coming up. Stay tuned. Thank you for watching.